Well, I got another thinning out the herd video here. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful LST2. Badass. One of my favorites. MT platforms right here. It's sad, but I gotta say bye to it. Don't worry, I still have five more LSTs. Um, I will never, ever get rid of, completely get rid of my LSTs. All right, even though I'm a big, strong fan of the sealed nitro motors that you uh, use on truckies. All right, a true nitro guy, a true nitro head. Um, this is. This wasn't so bad, but many others are considered the enemies of Nitro, believe it or not. They blame the MTs for destroying Nitro. Uh, um, yeah. Obviously, everybody knows Nitro was king at one point. And um, the E-words pretty much took over. And that's because a lot of manufacturers never really upgraded, stepped up their game to the Nitro engines to the RTR ready to run uh, baby stuff all right that makes life easier for uh, newbies the majority of people nowadays don't want to learn don't want to uh, deal with headaches they want shit handed pretty much handed over to them ready to go that's the majority nowadays uh, newer generation but I'll tell you, man, a, 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 a truggy with a nice sealed motor, ah, th there's no headaches with that, man. It's run and go and spank ass with it. It really is. But I, I, I enjoy MT. MTs are fun as hell. They're great, um, especially one like this. I mean, th this this guy handles pretty well for, for an MT. But every now and then, you, you I feel like driving, controlling an MT that's uncontrollable. All right, that's kind of uh, all over the place. That's 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 an, uh, another fun about it, you know. But anyway, LST two, beautiful, beautiful condition, shape. Um, uh, I do not. I am not doing this video to sell shit. All right, I, this is a video for myself, so I don't regret later on. In the future, saying, "Oh man, I remember I used to have an LST2 uh, about this, about that." Look, years ago, I used to have a lot of RCs, many RCs, a, a lot of cool shit too, like project jobs, like uh, modified stuff. I used to have the Truckzilla t uh, Sa uh, Savage. I still have the Jumbo Kong tires and rims around here somewhere. All right, I used to have the Truckzilla. Most of you guys don't even know what the hell the Truckzilla is or was. All right, uh, man, if I could go back and do a video of that truck, I would be super happy to do that, man. I, I would have loved to to go back to one of my videos and look up that truck. You know, uh, rare, rare <clears throat> to to come across one of those nowadays. But uh, I also had a Mad Max. Uh, some of you guys don't know what a Mad Max is or was. It's a uh, it's if whoever had T Maxes, you can convert them from a 10 scale to an 8 scale, and you can throw a big block nitro motor instead of your small block 2.5 shit back in the day. <clears throat> I, I did one nice, nicely. All right, I had polished frame, I mean, the shit was nice, and I have no pictures, no records of it, and 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 just talk. That's all that's all there is now. Memories. That's it. I wish I had a video. So this is why I'm really I'm doing this for myself. Uh, I really wish I could be working on my RCs. I got I got a lot of jobs coming up. A lot. I I, I want to get further. This is my OBR motor. I got to get further on this. I got to get my MTXL going. Um, but I I am cleaning up my whole basement. It, it more than likely uh, this is all going to be gone. Uh, this catch is moving up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have two tables here. This is where we're gonna have uh, Christmas, uh, you know, uh, downstairs and upstairs of my house. 
but this is where the majority of the people we're going to have the, the big dinner is going to be here and uh and um the kids possibly upstairs but anyway <clears throat> this is a an lst2 super clean all nice beautiful suspension bone stock except for the motor all right what this guy deserves is a nice tns.28 slash eight a nice tns.28 eight port would be badass here and it would <laughs> the blue head would actually look nice here i i think the tns.32 which is a modified .32 LRP, would but might be too much for this, you know. But I think the 20 would be perfect. But and uh, another thing that I want to mention, and I'm super happy to say, is that I will, we will be seeing this in the future. All right, it's not like I'm going to be selling this to some stranger. It's going to be somebody we know and my buddy Al out of all who would have known my buddy Al that took that took that ha, got my DBXL that I regret selling hook that's hooking it all up OBR motor the whole nine yards is picking up my LST too that's awesome I'm super happy it's at least it's we know that it's going to a good house all right we know it will be taken care of and he's already talking about putting a TNS.32 in this bitch later on, uh, well after the holidays and uh, after he has some catching up to do because his DBXL is not your ordinary DBXL and he's got a lot of, a lot of expense uh, went into that sucker. But um, at least he has a, an LST platform now that he can mess with. Now, let me take this guy off and I'm going to show you the... The next guy I have that's going to be leaving, All right? Next guy that's leaving in this thing out the herd video is my HPI RS4. Yeah, I did the oh big Chevy guy. Sick in the head, Chevy, Chevy guy for sure. So I love Corvettes. I have a Corvette, and uh, I wound up doing a C6 body on this. This is um, an HPI RS4, uh, newer version. It's got the. This is the one with the drive shafts, not the, not the belt. I used to have an, an RS4 with the belt drive as well. Let me show you under the hood. All right, what we got here is a screamer. This is a ERCM OS motor. All right, it's running the THS header on road small block header or a THS pipe it, I used to rock an ERCM side bleed here it's cool. she's clean she's fast the sucker is fast I never got to really continue on it I, I really stopped messing with it they just kept as a uh it just sat in the shelf man with the corvette body shut my sat in my garage for a while sat down here for a while that's it bottom dead center as always as you guys can see is my mark i always mark the flywheel facing the car that tells me that the piston is at bottom dead center like if i take out this glow plug right here I'll show you a nice golden color uh, piston crown and and you guys know what that means by now um, it's got a, a good air filter and that's it
I, I, I really wanted to try this guy out as a like a, a street run video, but I never got to to do that. I just got so much, so many other things to do, and it's in my way. So I gotta make room for other things. Um, I also used to drift with this, have fun. All right. Um, the person that's getting this vehicle right here is also going to be getting an extra set of tires a new rubber different rubber a little bit stickier it's soft All right so you're going to be getting an extra set of tires and also my favorite that's fun as shit boom drifting tires Drifting wheels, beautiful five-spoke rims, looks great with the with the Corvette C6 uh, Chevy Corvette body. All right, I don't have it on because I should I should have had it on all this time. But the last time I did have it out, I I, I ran it. I ran it on my uh, I ran it in my driveway and, and down my block. I wish I had a video of it and again I wish I didn't thank God I didn't do a video of it because that would have been a bitch to do one-handed I mean I'm saying this sucker is very quick it's, it's very quick and, um, all right. yeah so just to give you an idea it would look pretty pretty nice pretty sweet very clean with these rims on here You know, so anyway, wait. These are like like plastic. It's uh, to have fun. You, you you can drift with this guy. You really don't have to. Uh, you could almost drift with tires, man. That's how powerful this this little freaking motor is. It, I'm telling you, it spins all four tires. I used to have slicks all the way around on it, but uh, these these softer tires grip pretty well. But if you go to a big nice big parking lot man you could drift this thing like uh, unreal it's like the whole thing you could go sideways it's unbelievable but yeah she's gonna be going this is my last RS4 I had many of the belt versions but that's it now I want to show you guys last I'm gonna save the best for last believe it or not of this thing thinning out the hurt video I'm doing right now again another th and um, give me a sec let me clean this up make room I'll be before I make room for the other for the other guy I also want to mention I'm getting rid of this bash body uh, I didn't I never really stored this car on my shelf with this body it just reminds me too much of a rice burner you know I'm like I said I'm a I'm a Chevy guy 100% I mean it's really a, I'm serious about that like nobody in my family drives anything else but GM cars or trucks and um, I don't know this could pass for I don't know I make myself feel better maybe like a, a Pontiac or, or like a GTO all right, that's what's in my head. I know it's not. That's what I put in my head. <laughs> so I don't feel so bad. But anyway, it's a nice body. It's a bash body. So that way, the person who takes care of this next doesn't have to uh, mess this body up or whatever. Or, or drill holes through the windshield. Because you're going to have to drill some holes here uh, to, to get some air into that uh, small block. That high screaming motor right there. I, I, I don't know how many RPMs this motor can do. But, but it... it this sucker screams, man. But uh, anyway, yeah. So they're also getting us another body, all right? To bash wheels. So have fun. Good luck with it. Hope to see it one day. And now let me get ready to the next, the next guy that's leaving. All right. I had to save the best for last. 
Now, I'm not going to say best RC, but some of you guys may be like, some of you guys that know about this truck right here, or the history of Losi, or the LST platform, right now must be saying, wow, holy shit. Uh, yeah, it, it is holy shit. Um, and probably the majority of you guys are probably like, ah, it's just another LST. It's not. Uh, you, you, you're not going to, if you guys don't know about the background or the history, then you're not going to get it. You guys, most of you guys probably haven't even been around uh, this hobby when this guy came out. What you're looking at here is the first gen original LST. This was when Losi was Losi. Right? One of you guys had asked me, what does LST stand for? LST stands for Losi Super Truck. All right, <clears throat> this is how you would get it. I got, I still have the FM remote. This is for a collector, all right? This is, yeah, you can use it, you can bash it, and it'll still outperform brand new Savages, guaranteed, all right? I, I, maybe you guys won't like to hear that, but I, listen, I also have Savages. I have two Savages, and one modified, all that. One that my kids drive and beat up around, which is a great truck, and an XL Savage. But I'm saying, out of the box, out of the box to out of the box, <laughs> this guy will outperform any Savage. This guy will outperform any MGT. This guy, out of the box. Now, this truck came out years ago, first gen, LST1, before the LST2. This is what you got. This is what started the platform that still is around today in 2017 you got the big beautiful shocks these aren't adjustable those these are the damn clips you had the bleeder caps all right no one had bleeder caps at that time right this was like a step ahead of everyone else at the time it does not have the metal dips housings the lst2 has that but let me tell you something. This sucker right here will jump, do back flips, front flips, everything. All right. Shifts hard, screams. This is the original motor. Beautiful piston. Beautiful. Uh, never been rebuilt. Um, the only thing here that's changed is that it's running an MGT 8.0 air filter. That's it. Everything else is bone stock here. The rims, everything, the servos, all right? This is a collector's piece. This is something that you put away, all right? Uh, reason why I, you guys are like, what the hell are you selling this for? You know, uh, don't worry, I have another one, okay? That's why. Now, this came with a nice FM remote. This remote, believe it or not, you could put seven cars to it. When I used to race electrics, indoor racetrack, Long Island Raceway and Hobby years ago, when it used to be on Conklin, not where it is today, when it used to be on Conklin, when Rob owned the place, all right, I used to use this remote. I used to race buggy and stadium truck, all right, they didn't even call, they didn't call truggies, it was called stadium truck, I used to run modified with the stadium truck, look at this. Everything still works. It's unfortunate that this this antenna looks like a fishing pole rod when it's fully extended. But look at the damn servers, man, working awesome. Look at it. Works better than the damn lipo bullshit stuff that's out now. Look at that. <laughs> anyway. Look at that. Yeah, it's going like this. It's gonna go with uh, two other receivers, All right? Yeah, uh, it's. I think the the person that's picking up that's that's taking the RS4 is also gonna be taking this guy. All right. 
And now, I'm sure you guys can notice what's in the background. This right here, let me take the truck off the table. Let me let me do that because it's this it's that serious right now. What, what, what we're about to see right here had to do a film of this had to. It, maybe most of you guys have no idea, but I, for myself at least, I had to do this. I'm sure there's a good few of you guys are like holy shit right now. Let me take the truck off this table. What you guys are seeing is a, it, this it, right now is like, I'm taking all you guys back in time right now. This is the effing original, mother effing original box right here. Who the hell has the original LST freaking box? Tell me. Not many people. I saw one on eBay. A guy sold one of these suckers for 200 bucks just for the goddamn cardboard. Just for the... You now, the, who, who buys that? Nobody. It's, who, I'll tell you who buys that. The freaking collector guy. They, there's collectors. There's, there's guys out there that are collectors of Losi's, LST's platforms. I'm one of them. There's, there's many guys out there. I get phone calls from people out of state. Oh, you got this part. You got that part. You have... One day I'll show you how many parts I have for the low C truck. I could I could fill up this whole table two times over. All right, I have parts for LST ones, LST twos. But like I said, I could build four low C trucks if I wanted to. But anyway, take a look at this box, man. This is what you guys would see if you would go to your local hobby store and pick this up. Now remember. When this came out, there was nothing like this. No one had big shops. This was like holy shit factor to a lot of people. All right? The, the problem was it cost the most out of all of them. It was the most expensive. But you got the most. You got the better shocks. You got the bigger shit that no one had that was never out there. You got the better remote. All right? So, I mean, look at this. This this truck came out when the T Max was the king, right? Look at the little, little baby T Max. Look at that. Look at that little cutie. Yeah. Look at your low C shock right there, bro. That's your LST one. That's not even LST two. And it was already ahead of everybody, bro. Got your nice simple two speed design. But this training right here has got it's loaded with gears, loaded all metal gears. You didn't have to call Robson Racing to get custom gears made up. No, it came with metal gears already. To tell you the truth, the old LST and the LST2 has better, stronger gearing training than the new E-Word uh, LST and the gas one. Had better quality bearings, all that shit. All right? Towards the end, man, they got, I don't know who the hell was making these damn bearings. I'm sure it's China or some shit. Look at this. This guy right here used to pull me on a skateboard. There's a high and low selector gear here. This guy right here will pull the shit out of a summit. Put your summit in low gear. Go ahead. Do it. Put it in the lowest fucking gear you got, you summit. Put it. I'll do a tug of war with you guys. All right? I used to have a summit. All right? Put, man, I'll, you know what? Damn, I would love to do a video of that. I would put this antique dinosaur, all right, up against any damn summit out of the box. Just, this is a bone stock one. All right, don't make me put a TNS .32 in here. Now, bone stock to bone stock. Put your summits in low gears. Okay, I'll give you, get your posi shit activated. Go ahead, all right? I won't even need to thicken my diff oils for, for, for that summit. I, was, I would... I'll tow it and pull the shit. I would out pull a damn summit with this sucker right here in low gear. All right, I can promise you that. All right, this thing, this thing in low gear when the engine is running really good, when you have it tuned right, it will do backflip. It it, it it does everything that all the new guys, uh, all the new trucks do today. But yeah, anyway, man, I had to. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys are probably like, "Wow, holy shit!" Yep, here it is, bro. You will never see this again, guys. 
this is this is you're in a uh, time warp right now yeah. all right you're in a uh, this is some back to the future shit right here all right this is how it came guys this is what started it now next week I really should be working on my stuff. I need to be catching up on things. But I, I probably won't have time. But I do have something to show you guys. Alright, that's probably even more. It's not more rare than this. But it's more worthy to a collector guy. Oh, I got some surprise for you guys, man. I know it's a surprise for myself, but... I'll tell you all about it possibly sometime next week. I got something else. Something else is up in my garage. I just finished uh, uh, washing it, cleaning them up. And uh, I will show everybody possibly sometime next week. Or maybe this weekend. Alright? So anyway. Sorry for the long video. of, uh, But I had to put this in here. And that's it.